When a client or customer needs to schedule an appointment with you, it's something that can be a very tedious process if you're not doing it the right way. It's so much easier to let them choose an available time slot as opposed to sending endless emails back and forth trying to find a date that works for everyone. One of the easiest and most effective ways to accomplish this is to set up a Google form for scheduling an appointment. Using Google Forms for scheduling gives you a centralized platform to handle all of your scheduling needs, especially if you're keeping track of your appointments through Google Calendar. It's easy to share access to forms with others and almost everyone will already have some experience with the platform. So how can scheduling forms benefit your business? When you set up an online form to schedule appointments, you'll see a few immediate benefits. First, once you've created the form, you'll essentially set up a standard template that you can use no matter what type of service you're offering. Once you're happy with the form you've created, you'll spend less time scheduling individual appointments, giving you more space to focus on the important tasks. You can also optimize your schedule forms and processes over time, testing new strategies and ensuring smooth customer interactions. If you have multiple locations under different management, for example, a well-made form can ensure the scheduling experience is consistent for all of your clients and at every location. In short, scheduling forms can be the linchpin that keeps appointments running smoothly and on time for your business. There are a few steps you need to follow to get started using a Google form for scheduling, including using some add-ons, and you'll need to download files to your computer, so be sure to have access to do that before you continue. If you need a form builder in Google Workspace, by the way, you can also try out the form builder by JotForm. So in order to create a form, we're gonna go over to Google Workspace and create a new form. And then I've written out here a scheduling form title. And then for example, maybe services needed. So I can say uh, video editing, social media management, and uh, another one would be like blog post, for example. If this is a discovery call for a content services agency, so discovery call. And I also would probably add another field that gives them the ability to write a short answer as to what necessarily they are looking for here. Maybe in a paragraph if they wanna give more context. What do you need help with? And then also let's add some response forms so that they can give us their information. Uh, let's do short answer for full name. What's your full name? And then another one for their email. What's your email address. Perfect. So we have all of these here. Let's reorder it so that the name and email are first and that you require all of these in order for the form to work. All right, so those are filled out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the scheduling fields. So next you'll need to set up a multiple choice or drop down question that has all the time slot options for your customers or clients to choose from, depending on what your organization offers. You can even begin your form by asking respondents to pick the day of the week they wanna meet and then using conditional logic, offer them specific time slots to choose from depending on the day. So I could, for example, for me, I would say, what time do you want to meet? And say I did it at 9 a.m. And I'm gonna put parentheses for uh, Central Standard Time, US Central Standard Time, okay? And then we're gonna do 10 a.m. and I'm gonna do noon as well. And then let's add a day for the day of the week. So the multiple choice could be, let's do day of the week. And let's say I only did this on a couple of days. I can add them all, which is a really nice suggestion I gave, but I don't wanna do that. I only meet on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All right, now how can we eliminate choices for time slots that are no longer available? In order to do that, you're gonna to need to download this add-on. So if you want to add a new add-on, you're gonna to go to the Google Workspace Marketplace and you're gonna add a product called Choice Eliminator. So Choice Eliminator is a add-on that you can basically use to eliminate different options from a list when they're checked off. And there are a lot of these different tools out there. So you can pretty much pick what you want, but essentially what you're gonna do is when it's selected, then it would prevent said form from allowing the same options to be selected more than once. So say someone picked Tuesday at 9 a.m., it would not allow that again. And there's a bunch of these different options, but the problem with doing something like this is while it's nice in the sense that it gets you going and gets you started on a system like this, there's no real booking link option in the same way as where you just send out the link and then it analyzes your own Google Calendar and lets you easily integrate that with 
a form and like you can click like the time you want to pick and it's actually a good user experience. So rather than going to your Google Forms account to make a solution, I would recommend that you use JotForms AI form generator to quickly generate a form that allows users to book a call similar to other booking link software like Calendly and otherwise. And then from there, you'll notice that it's a much simpler experience than other items because you can have this form have a bunch of different items to choose from so you get more context about what the person needs and them have an easily filled out booking link experience rather than you needing to do the whole email back and forth situation we talked about at the beginning of the video. So in here, if I just type, I want to create a quick meeting scheduler between myself and a coworker or someone who is a client I work with frequently so they can book a time off my calendar. And then in a moment, it's going to create this very simple form for me that is gonna be tailored to exactly what I requested. Now check it out, quick meeting scheduler. Uh, I can just say quick meeting here, right? And then the options here are pretty quick. We got client meeting, team meeting, one-on-one -on -one project discussion for different meeting types. Uh, we don't need to have the phone number here, no need for that. And then you'll notice right here, we have an appointment option. So this is where someone could click on a specific time on my calendar and book a time for a call. Now I wanna change the availability a little bit to only be 30 minutes. And I wanna do it on Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like I said. And I'm gonna do the availability as well from 9 a.m. to noon. All right. And I have the ability to add group members, which is also pretty cool. But I'm gonna just do simple one-on-one -on -one bookings in this context. So. You'll even see that it allows people to check their own time zone when using the form, which I think is awesome. So let's test this bad boy out. Let's go to publish, open it in a new tab, and you'll see I can simply click on this and pick a day and a time. And I just fill out my information and it would book a time. Now, I do have to set up an integration and I'm someone who uses Google Calendar, so I'm gonna do that but we have a myriad of different integrations. We have a Teams integration, we have a Zoom integration, and obviously a calendar for Google integration. So if we press create event with Google Meet, press next, grab my account, press add action, and select my meetings calendar. And I'm gonna call this, uh, it's gonna be quick meeting, and then let's do quick meeting with, and then I'm gonna grab a form field, which will be the name of the person. And then required attendees is gonna be the email address the person booked with. And the start time is gonna be from the appointment and the appointment duration is going to be the amount of time that is booked on my calendar. And you can add form fields to the event description. So like your name, email address, is stuff that's usually inside of there. So I'll just put meeting type and agenda slash notes if they did jot that in there. All right, so let's go back to the form and fill this out. So I'm just gonna fill out this or let's say it's a one-on-one -on -one, and I'm gonna book it for next Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. And the agenda such notes, I'm gonna say this is a call to go over the past two weeks of work as we haven't had the opportunity to get together for a one-on-one. -on -one. Then I'm gonna press submit. And if I go over to my Google Calendar, it says quick meeting with Dimitri, who was who booked it. The meeting type is a one-on-one -on -one, and the agenda popped on right over. And there's a great Google Meet link for me to very easily get into a call and chat with them on what I want to get done. Now, this video was pretty much just showcasing how Google Forms does have the ability for you to schedule calls, but honestly, it's not nearly as robust as JotForm. I really recommend you check out JotForm's capabilities in this regard. It's so simple and easy to utilize our different integrations and amazing elements on the forms to have a much better experience than anything you can find on Google Forms, even with add-ons on there. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. We appreciate your time and we'll see you in the next one.